Welcome back, Fight fans. Welcome back. Welcome back. Let's just dig right into it. Keith One Time Thurman will be back on Saturday, January 26th, to take on the Josecito Lopez. Let's just break down the fight into two fighters and give our ultimate prediction of this particular fight. I think it'll be a good tune up fight for Keith Thurman and Josecito Lopez. Does he have a chance of winning? Let's break it down. Okay, and we'll start with uh, Josecito Lopez. He has 36 wins, 7 losses, 19 knockouts, but he's been stopped 3 times in his career. Also, Josecito Lopez is 34 years old. He's 5 foot 9 and a half, and he has a 69 inch reach. He's an orthodox fighter, and his losses, um, his 3 knockout losses came to Andre Berto, uh, to Marcos Maidana, and to Canelo Alvarez. Now, he also lost a split decision to Jesse Vargas as well. So these are all notable names. Now, at the end of the day, since he's been stopped multiple times by three different fighters, two of them are very hard hitters in Marcos Maidana and Canelo Alvarez, Andre Berto, he has decent power, but not enough to be known as a knockout artist. So if, if we're being honest and unbiased, we're not expecting Josecito Lopez to be able to put up much of a fight or a challenge against Keith Thurman, but I think that if he wants to show that he's really improved, if he has a really great game plan or a chance of winning, he has to do one thing. He must absolutely vigorously attack Keith Thurman's body. I think that that's his only chance of being able to be competitive and even possibly winning this fight. Keith Thurman, on the other hand, has 28 wins, no losses, 22 knockouts. He's, um, five foot seven and a half with the 69 inch reach and keith thurman you know he's been in the ring with sean porter uh danny garcia robert guerrero he so he has notable wins he's shown elite level skills so i believe he has gonna he's not gonna have any problems with josecito stylistically but keith thurman only issue that could arise in this fight is body work you know we've shown in Luis Colazo fight that he can be hurt to the body and I think that if Josecito Lopez trained specifically for that he has a chance at hurting Keith Thurman slowing him down and going to the body takes a lot of wind out of you takes a lot of gas we don't know what conditioning or shape Keith Thurman is coming in for his fight because it's been such a long time since he's been in the fight you know Keith Thurman hasn't actually fought since March of 2017 March of 2017, he hasn't fought. So that's such a long time. So if you dig to his body, make him work for everything he gets, make it difficult on him, then I think Josecito Lopez has a very good chance of, you know, hurting Keith Thurman, pulling off an upset, or making it much more difficult. But my unbiased opinion as to what will happen, even if that happens, is I believe Keith Thurman is too intelligent of a fighter. I think he will adjust. I think ultimately he will come in shape. He has he he's always shown that he'll come in shape. But we just don't know how he's going to look off these injuries in such a long layoff so that's the that's the x factor in this fight but if keith thurman comes in the way he's supposed to the way he normally has then i'll have to say that keith thurman will come in and stop josecito lopez probably around the fifth or sixth round i just think keith thurman has too many tools in the toolbox um but ultimately it could also go to a decision for the simple fact that keith thurman may just want to get rounds in he's not looking to push uh any particular um you know knockout or anything like that he might not press for it he might take it easy on the fight but i think the fight will get stopped by knockout at some point before the 12 rounds but i wouldn't be surprised if it goes 12 because i understand that being out of the ring for such a long time keith thurman may want to get those extra rounds in and so i could see it going either way but either way i see keith thurman winning uh, very easily um, by either a stoppage in the mid of the fight or actually going 12 rounds attempting to just get in rounds for the fight once again it's the IBFP unbiased as always please share like and you must absolutely subscribe